Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can hide uh, you know certain uh, elements from uh, the web page. Uh, you know the element could be an image or text or whatever and uh, if you want to hide it, if you don't want the user to see then you know you can use the visibility property. So for this tutorial I've created a file that's called visibility.html and in this file in the style section you can see that I have uh, you know some properties applied to div elements and uh, you know uh, th these uh, div tags are going to have two classes uh, the first one's uh, called para1 the second one's called para2 and uh, correspondingly inside the body I have uh, two div tags or two sets of div tags uh, the first one belongs to the class para1 whereas the second one belongs to the class para2 and uh, inside the first one I have the text this is the first paragraph and inside the second one I have the text this is the second paragraph and for each I have uh, set the font size to 44 points and uh, if I sh you know see this file in my browser this is how it looks I see the text this is the first paragraph and this is the second paragraph now for some reason let's say you want to hide the text in the first div uh, tag right uh, so the way you can do that is uh, by using the visibility property and the value that you have to supply to it is hidden right when you type hidden for this property save the file and refresh the page I have to go to my browser and when I refresh it I see that the text is no longer uh, visible it's there in the file you know if you would see the page source of this document you can see that this text is still here this is the first paragraph and, and in case you guys are wondering how I uh, you know uh, can see the page source in Google Chrome uh, the shortcut for it is control U in Windows I don't know what the command is in Mac but in Windows if you press control and U you can see the page source of uh, any document and uh, obviously you'll only be able to see the HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript code you won't be able to see PHP code because the code resides on the server but anyway so why would someone want to do this you know why would you want to put some text or you know an image or links in your page and not want people to see well uh, you know this property is best used uh, along with JavaScript so if suppose uh, you know the user clicks on something and uh, he or she is redirected to the same page but this time the user needs to feel that the page is reloaded and it is different from the one that he or she was seeing earlier in that case you could use JavaScript to you know supply the value hidden to this particular property and you know that is beyond the scope of this course you know probably when I'll uh, record a series of tutorials on JavaScript I'll come back on this particular topic and uh, I'll elaborate further but uh, for the time being you just need to know that if you want to hide something on your web page if you don't want people to see it then you can use the visibility property and you can you know just put the value hidden and uh, by default this property has the value visible so if I would type visible here save the file and refresh the page in Google Chrome I would see the text again because you know I've uh, given the value visible to the property visibility so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video till then take care